growing up for me, I grew up in a religious setting whereby seven days a week after school, I'm in a church. And in the church is where I develop my skill of playing drums because my father made sure he kept me there playing cowbell. I was kept on cowbell for about six or seven years to keep time because my father, he was very serious with his music. My first band performance I was involved in was when I was about nine or maybe six. I put a street band together <laughs> playing percussion. <laughs> I used to, I, <laughs> I used to imitate my father, and this was when I was about seven, because my father would play music in the church. So I put a band together, street kid, when I was about seven. I remember I was six, and people still remember it today. And it's a long street that we live in, so I would go and collect kids. That and my mother will give me money to buy sweet. So the payment for my fellow musicians at that time will be the sweet. So I was in control of the sweet. And you know, kids with the sweet. So if you don't come to rehearsal, I will call rehearsal. <laughs> and I will make sure I go to different houses, collect the, my friends, boys. And we, all we were playing is just junk, tins, plastic. And I will be imitating my father as if he, I'm in the church singing. Ayo, ayo, akari go go wa. Ayo, ayo, akari go go wa. Ayo, ayo, akari go go wa. I arrived in 1980, first time, to Gatwick Airport. I had a scholarship to go to. Chelsea College of Aeronautics and Automobile Engineering in Shoreham to be an automobile engineer because my father had the Greyhound bus, American Greyhound bus, he brought it to Lagos. So the whole idea is for me to become uh, an automobile engineer or maybe aeronautics pilot, um, engineer, and eventually maybe I might become a pilot. But. <laughs> Do I see myself as an automobile engineer? Um, maybe I might fly a plane for fun. But um, I didn't see myself as an engineer. I see myself as an artist. So I was at Chelsea College, then I went to do management at the University of London, transport management. And one day, was that there's a voice in my head that you can't be here. This is not where you belong. So I called my mother that, ah, I don't think this engineering thing, I can't hack it anymore. My mother said, what do you want to do? I said, I want to be an artist. Artist. <laughs> In African culture, we have this extended family whereby you know when you wake up in the morning when you don't have nothing to eat, somebody's going to feed you. And days that I don't have money, I've met brilliant people, brilliant European English people who have been kind to me. But it is not, when you go to people's house, they offer you tea. And I will be waiting, thinking they're going to offer you food. And people will be eating in front of you. They won't invite you to the meal. And they will just tell you, excuse me, I'm going to have my lunch. But in Africa, nobody will eat in front of you. They will invite you to that meal. And if people are very stingy, they will go and hide to eat that food. I think it's the individualism that I find in Western culture and in Africa, the sense of collectiveness and extended family, which is now is breaking down because of the middle class way of life that we've adopted. I think that's the difference. 
and at the same time i think that individualism help you not to be lazy my first grammy album in the heart of the moon alifa katuri was a Malian, great Malian guitarist, fantastic guitarist. And I was asked to go into the studio. I must have played on maybe 10 tracks. Cassandra Wilson asked me to open for her at a gig she was doing at the Royal Festival Hall. And then after that gig, she invited me to the States that she would like me to be part of her band. So I went to the States, I met Miss Wilson, and Blue Note Records asked Miss Wilson to do a reinterpretation of the jazz standards. So she said, Leko, can you listen to some of this music? Can you come with a groove, a pattern that would be different, that would not be straight ahead jazz? So, and it, it is, has been my thing that if the African-American classic art form come from Africa, I think it's important to give this jazz back to African people because Africans don't recognize their own culture anymore, which is coming from the new world. So I will be there at Miss Wilson's house in Woodstock, upstate New York, for days, weeks, writing with her, come up with an idea. Anyway, eventually we did this album called Lovely on Blue Note Records. In blue the album that we did has been nominated for Grammy. So that's how I got involved in two Grammy albums. I think is what brought me and my wife together is music really it, it is music and and I think music is a common one language universally that you share destiny is the work of creator that I'm going to end up with a beautiful woman with three children who's a great musician more than me, I think is, um, I think is something that has been written for me. So one year I was in Lagos, a friend of mine had a funeral home and I saw this brass project going. And I've actually seen brass project in New Orleans because I, I one time lived in New Orleans for about six months. And I, it's like, wow, it would be nice to have a brass band in Lagos playing Nigerian composers' music, celebrating Nigerian music. So I have a brass band in Lagos called the Echo Brass Band. And the idea of the brass band is to celebrate Nigerian composers at the same time playing original music. And I have a new work which is celebration of the icon of metal. The icon of metal in the Yoruba pantheon is called Ogun, which is the path clearer. I am not saying that I'm a path clearer for my contemporary, but I think in a way, things I've been doing is like forging ahead in the Western world of bringing, I'm not the first one to do it, of bringing the Western culture, which I've benefited a lot from, an African culture, and in order to kind of interpret this African culture that I was born into, particularly Yoruba culture that I grew up in, to make it a universal culture, which is universal by itself. So I think my job is, I am a translator of my law into what is contemporary form. Power. 